Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. In my last video we visited the fine art court for the first time. In this video, many more exhibits have been added to this section of the simulation. The first item we see is the Shield of Achilles, as used by him in the fight with Hector, in Homer's Iliad. The original, of which the exhibited version is an electrotype copy, was designed by John Flaxman, acquired by George VI in 1821. The shield rests against a table displaying various statuettes. Working clockwise around the table, the Sherwood Ironworks exhibit a casting from an antique statuette of Bacchus, the model here being from the State Hermitage Museum, St. Petersburg. Next, a copy of Bertel Thorvaldsen's Mercury, now at the National Museum in Krakow. At the left end of the table is a bronze equestrian statuette of Napoleon by Pyotr Michalowski, also at the National Museum in Krakow. Moving to the back of the table we find Sir Robert Peel. At the Great Exhibition this was modelled in wax by Henry Ross. The model here is of the statue in Parliament Square by Matthew Nobel. Next we have two more equestrian statuettes. The first is a bronze copy by John Westwood of the statue of George III at Charing Cross by Matthew Coates Wyatt. Behind that another item modelled in wax, by Joseph Bullock, of the Duke of Wellington, the model being a copy of the statue at Bank London by Francis Leggett Chantry. Next is another bronze, by John Hatfield, of Venus at the Bath. The model here is a copy of an ancient marble statue at the Vatican Museum. The last statuette was Chaucer by Edward Fox. With no further information in the exhibition catalogue, here is a model of the statue in Canterbury. Many thanks to Stefan Vogli of Koto 3D for allowing us to use their model. Turning round we find a table with various busts. We start with King Charles I by Philip Papera. The model here is by Louis-Francois Rubiliac, which is at the Wallace Collection. Next is Queen Victoria by John Hatfield, based on the original by Sir Francis Chantry. The model here is of a replica of Chantry's bust, now at the National Portrait Gallery. Moving to the other side of the table, we find a bronze of Thomas Lawrence by Samuel Parker. The model here is of a bust by Edward Hodges Bailey at the National Portrait Gallery. We finish with three pieces exhibited by Philip Papera. The first is Rubens. The model here is of the piece by Jean-Baptiste Stouff at the Louvre. Then Sir Robert Peel. The model here is of the piece by Matthew Noble at the National Portrait Gallery. And then Oliver Cromwell. The model here is of the piece by Joseph Wilton at the Victoria and Albert Museum. Moving to the west wall of the Fine Art Court, we find a copy of the Magna Carta of 1215, from the collection at the British Library. Next to this is a lithograph copy of Wenceslas Holler's 1647 view of London from Bankside, by Robert Martin. Turning to the north wall of the fine art court we find the first of a number of copies of paintings. Paintings, as works of art, were excluded from the Great Exhibition. However, copies of paintings were used to demonstrate new painting and printing techniques. The images here are of the extant copied originals. The first four, exhibited by Kundal and Adi, were to demonstrate printing using wooden blocks. The copied paintings are Adoration of the Shepherds by Rembrandt, now at the National Gallery. La Belle Jardiniere by Raphael, at the Louvre. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci at Santa Maria del Grezi, Milan. The fourth is a copy of the watercolour The Nut Gatherers by Edward Wiemert, at the British Museum. The next two pieces were examples of enamel. On porcelain, The Holy Family by Bartolome Esteban Lurillo, now part of the National Trust Collection. And on copper, Eke Homo by Antonio de Correggio at the National Gallery. Next is a print of Albrecht Dürer's Adoration of the Maggi, now at the Uffizi Gallery, Florence. Next is a sample of typochromatic printing, a technique developed by Frederick Rowney, a copy of Thomas Miles Richardson's Lake Lucerne, now at the Lang Art Gallery. Next an example of coloured lithographic printing, published by Day and Son, George Hawkins Britannia Bridge, now at the National Library of Wales. Next, an example of oil painting on glass, by Edward Corbold, Britons deploring the departure of the Romans. Next an example of, a new style of aerial tinting, Edward Concannon's marine piece. All the pieces on the next section of wall are enamel paintings from a single exhibitor, William Essex. 
Some of these are original paintings, some are copies of other works. The top row, Lord Nelson by Lemuel Francis Abbott, now at the National Portrait Gallery. Sir David Wilkie by Thomas Phillips at the Tate. Sir Walter Scott by Sir Thomas Lawrence, part of the Royal Collection at Carlton House. The Red Boy by Sir Thomas Lawrence, at the National Gallery. The first three on the next row are all now at the National Portrait Gallery. Lord Byron by Thomas Phillips. John Milton, age 20, by Cornelius Jansen. And William Shakespeare. The next three are all by Hans Holbein, Henry VII, now at the Victoria and Albert Museum. Henry VIII, part of the Royal Collection. Edward VII, now at the National Portrait Gallery. The next two are both by Franz Xaver Winterhalter, and are part of the Royal Collection. Queen Victoria. Princess Helena, fifth child of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. This is Thomas More by Sir Thomas Lawrence. The bottom row. Sancho Panza in his youth by David Wilkie, now at the Huntington Library. Napoleon by Thomas Phillips, now at Musée Bonnart, Bayonne, France. Eke Homo by Guido Reni, now at the Louvre. Duchess of Northumberland by Sir Thomas Lawrence, now at Annick Castle. The Strawberry Girl by Sir Joshua Reynolds, now at the Wallace Collection. Lady Beresford by Sir Thomas Lawrence, now part of the National Trust Collection. George Gordon by George Sanders, now at Goodwood House. Now we have a number of miniatures by Sir William Charles Ross, Queen Victoria. Prince Albert, now at the National Gallery. Prince Frederick Josias of saxe coburg saalfeld after Ferdinand Jagerman. Ernest II, Prince Albert's brother. Queen of the Belgians. These last three all now part of the Royal Collection. Oliver Cromwell by Samuel Cooper, now at the National Portrait Gallery. Duke of Wellington by Sir Thomas Lawrence, now at Windsor Castle. Below this are the first 12 sheets of Joseph Adshead's 1851 map of the Township of Manchester. The remaining 12 sheets are on the adjacent panel. The map at the Great Exhibition was dated February 1851. This copy, reproduced with permission of the University of Manchester, is corrected up to May 1851. Moving east, we come to a model of one of the Nineveh marbles, now in the British Museum. And finally for this update, actually located within the Malta section in front of the Fine Art Court, is a copy of Rubens' Descent from the Cross. Join me for my next video, where we start to populate items produced by the Colbrickdale Company.